Well, welcome back, folks. It seems like I'm always apologizing on this channel, but uh, I apologize that I haven't been doing a lot this summer, uh, this year, actually. Um, but that's what brings us to our video today. Um, I'm going to do a review on this uh, this pack I just got. Um, now, most of you know that uh, I've kind of given up with the tree stands. I've had surgery on both knees. I, I have, I'm full of arthritis is what they tell me, you know. So I, I stopped climbing about two, three years ago. Um, so for up north, you all saw my video of the, the elevated blind that I made. That thing works great. I love sitting in there. Um, it's warm. I'm out of the wind. You know, it, it's, it's really nice. Um, and the deer don't seem to mind it. I mean, they're, they stand right in front of me all day. So it's, it's, uh, it's working out really good. But, you know, when I'm home here at my, at my, uh, my, my house where I live, um, in Washington County, um, I'm hunting state land. So, so I, I did that review on that, uh, 48 inch, uh, blind from, uh, from, uh, Menards at Guidesman 48 by 48 blind. And that's what I've been using out here in that Kettle Moraine um, State Forest. So the issue I've been having, you know, up north, I just walk out there and sit down. And it's real nice. I don't, all I carry is my little pack, you know. But going out, going out in the state forest, you don't leave your stuff out there. So I have to carry my pack, you know, and my bowl. And I have to carry the, uh, the ground blind and a chair, you know, to sit in. So... I've been looking around. I mean, I'll show you in a minute how I used to carry the blind. Um, and it was kind of cumbersome and you know, it's heavy to carry on your, over your shoulder and your neck like that. So, uh, so I've been looking around and this is what I came up with. So this blind is called the Blind Hog. Um, I got it on Amazon for $46. Um, it's, it's made to carry a hunting blind and a bunch of other stuff. So, um, it's kind of designed, I don't want to say it, it is designed for that, but like a duck hunter that takes a blind out and has decoys and stuff, there's extra room in here to put your decoys and everything in there. Um, a, another chair, whatever whatever you want to carry. I mean, this thing's huge. Um, so let's take this apart once and show you what, show you how I got it set up here. So, um, One thing right off the bat that I don't seem to care for is this rubber, this rubber cord. I would much rather have another strap right here to pull this tight and, and snap it shut than this rubber cord. But it's the way to have it designed, so um, you know it is what it is. So inside here. So inside here they have a place for your chair and they have straps inside here. So there's two straps and I can take my, my blind and my chair right out of there. Okay. Now I have this uh, set up the way that I've been carrying it um, but at some point I can remove the chair off of here and there's another strap inside here to strap the chair in by itself so then you have the pack separate from the chair. Um, and then on the other side you have another strap over there and that strap I'm using right now for my uh, my tripod that my camera's sitting on so that goes in there so I got my tripod I got my chair I got my blind so so I needed a way I my regular pack my regular pack did not fit um, it did but it was really cumber cumbersome it was didn't quite fit the way I wanted it to fit in there um, so I went out and I found these, these little, these are called, uh, sack packs that the kids use in school, you know, and, uh, they have the ropes on them and then they, they put them around, you know, like a regular backpack to carry their stuff in. But I found those, they come with a battery in them that you can charge your phone or whatever if you need, need to in a pinch. Um, this was $9 at the hardware store. 
you know, and uh, I thought, boy, that ain't, you know, it's a nice heavy material, um, some type of canvas or whatever it's called, um, and I thought, boy, that's perfect, you know. So inside there, I have my warm gloves, I have a warm hat, and I have my real heavy um, camouflage jacket that I carry with me all the time for when you're sitting out there and you start getting the shivers, um, you put that jacket on and you warm right up, you know. But uh, so that fits in there, and then I bought two of them, you know. So this one here, this one here, I got, uh, I got my knives, my some toilet paper, you know. You always got to have that toilet paper with you, um, and uh, all my other little essentials that I take with me um, when I go hunting. Um, I, I think there's a tree saw in there, and uh, so, so that, you know. I mean, yeah, that's eighteen dollars plus the forty-six, so I'm at you know sixty-five dollars, whatever, you know. Um, so that ain't too bad. I mean, it's you know it is what it is. If you like hunting, you spend money on hunting. So, so anyhow, these sit up here in the front corner. Like I say, there's plenty. There's plenty of room in this bag. You know, this thing's huge. You know. Then on the on the side here, you got another pack here, a little a little pouch, and uh, you know you can stick uh, you can stick whatever in there, you know your scents or or whatever whatever else you carry with you, you can stick in there, you know. So that's that's nice having that pouch there. And then over here, this this pouch on this side is supposed to be for your bow. Now I carry a crossbow. I haven't tried putting it in there. But there's a padded little ring here for a regular bow. You stick the bottom of the bow in this pocket here, and there's a, I believe there's a strap in there. No, that's my strap. So you stick the bottom bottom of your bow in here, and then and then strap it right here, and and you're supposed to be able to carry your bow on there too. Now, when I first put this all together, I thought it was pretty heavy. Okay. I think, boy, that thing, that thing weighs a ton, you know, with all this stuff in there. I'm not going to be able to carry it. So I just, I figured I had to weigh it, so I went and weighed it. It's just under 30 pounds, so it's not as heavy as you think it is, you know, with all this stuff in there. Um, so, so I put it on my back and I carried it around, and it's not bad at all. It really isn't. Um, so I'm going to show you here what the... Uh, the way I the way I was carrying this thing around is I had made this uh, I had made this strap, okay, and then I put a I believe that's called a carabiner, um, yeah, carabiner on there, and uh, so that that went on my over my shoulder like that and around my neck, okay. You know, and so like right now, that's that's fine. That's not that bad, you know. Then on my on my blind, I made another set of straps that strapped around here and held my my chair in. Uh, two two straps actually, and then I connected it in the middle with a D ring. Okay. So so now you put that on there, and it, it's balanced pretty good. And then let's bring you down here a little bit. So then I would just hang this on this D-ring like this here, you know, and carry it around, okay? So, right, just like that, you know, you walk walk around. But the problem is, you're walking in the woods, you're trying to walk through branches and whatever else, and this thing's swinging like this here, so you're always grabbing it and picking it up to help, you know, get through the trail or wherever you're walking, you know? And then it also, after a while, After a while, this thing starts digging in your neck here, you know. Um, and you know, right now I got a, a hoodie on, so the hoodie helps. But if you don't have this hoodie on, I mean, it's it starts digging in your neck. And uh, and I walk a half mile to get to where I'm going out there, so uh, you know, it, it it's fine. I was able to do it, but it was kind of a pain, you know. It kind of kind of got to the point where you're after calling it out there a couple times, you're like. 
you know, I gotta come up with a better way. So, so I did. And uh, the better way is with this pack. This thing just goes right in there. I got my two straps inside here. There's one down below. And then there's one up on top here. So just like that, get strapped in the bag, okay? So then uh, my uh, my tripod goes in here on these other little straps, which I can't really show you, but uh, and there's some some straps here on the outside, so these straps here on the outside tie it all together, and pull this all in. Make it like a nice, like a nice baby in a blanket there. Okay, and like I said, I don't care for these, these rubber bungees here, but I would much prefer one more strap right there that I could that I could tighten that up a little more. But you know, it is what it is. So. This thing is made out of really heavy material. I mean, uh, I don't think you'll wreck this bag. The straps, uh, some of them seem pretty heavy, and then there's a couple, the ones that are inside there that hold the chair and uh, my tripod, they're a little, little wimpy, but I don't think, you know, where's it gonna go once the tripod is in there? I wouldn't even need to put that strap on, I don't think. It just, it would stand right there next to that, next to that blind, so. All in all, I think this is a pretty good, pretty good setup. So uh, we're actually going to head out hunting today. It's we've had miserable weather. It's been raining for two days. Um, I think we got almost four inches of rain here in the last couple of days, and uh, so uh, it's supposed to end here today, uh, this afternoon. So I'm going to get out there, and uh, I'm going to sit for a while and. Uh, it's supposed to drop, temperature's supposed to drop at like 40 degrees only. Um, it was 70 degrees this morning. And uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna go get this done today. Hopefully, uh, I know there's a buck out there. There's a bunch of scrapes right where I sit, um, but I haven't seen him yet, so I have no idea what he is. So, um, so we're gonna go out there and give her a try. So come along with us. Hey. So we're going to get going here, folks. This thing's got a really nice uh, belt strap. Get that good and tight. And then you got a, got a smaller one up here that uh, keeps your strap together. That's what I don't like about my uh, my little backpack that I wear. It has no strap here, and uh, if you got a, I got wear this black down sometimes. It slides right off, you know. So, uh, boy, this thing this thing feels great. So, uh, we have the bow, and uh, we're off. mile back in and uh, we're leaving the main trail um, so it won't be won't be long from here to get to where we're going this thing feels really good on my back I'm having no issue carrying it 
I mean, it is a little heavy at 30 pounds, but uh, compared to the way I was carrying it, it ain't bad at all. All right, now we're gonna be going into the thicker stuff here. So we'll see how we go through. I mean, it's, it's below my head. So as long as my head clears, we should be okay. This is some really gnarly stuff out here. Uh, these were like uh, giant white pines 10 years ago or so. And uh, they came out and they cut them all, left a few standing. And whatever this stuff is that grew up is just it's thicker than shit out here you can't you can't can't walk through it you know so i'm following a deer trail here that uh gets me to where i'm going kind of sort of Stretch. This stretch is all raspberry bushes. So I'm gonna pick up the bowl and carry it. A lot, of, a lot of stuff laying under this grass when they logged this 10 years ago. I mean, it's really hard to walk through here. But I still manage. All right, we're coming up on our spot here. set up right here in this little cubby hole. seconds to get that out of the pack. So this is not the original bag. The original bag ripped right away on this blind. 
so I had a chair bag. That's what I'm using. A little tight, but it's good. How long did that take? Did that even take two minutes? I don't think so. So this is why I like this blind. This thing just lifts right up. You can just walk right in. Well, it's October 23rd. Last weekend we were out here, uh, didn't really see anything, except two nights. There's sign here, but I don't know, just ain't the right day I guess, you know. So you gotta, you gotta just, just keep going. So it's been raining for two days. Hopefully the temperature is supposed to drop now this afternoon. Hopefully they'll bring some deer out. It's gonna be really quiet though, because it's wet as heck. This is just this is, I'm sitting in mud here. So, so we'll see. Thanks for coming along last night. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. And uh, if I was gonna rate this pack right now, I would give it five stars. I mean, uh, um, it works just the way it's described to work. And uh, you know, could there be a couple things like a, you know the bungee and stuff? Yeah, yeah, there could be a couple things better, you know, but. Uh, for practicality and uh, the way it works and uh, me carrying it out there, um, I think it works pretty good. It's way better than what I was doing. So, uh, so you know, go out and get yourself one if you're a blind hunter. You know, this, this is the way to go, I think, compared to trying to carry that blind and your bow and everything else. Um, so, uh, you know, good luck hunting. See you next time.